Hi everyone! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a health bar in Scratch, which will make your games more beautiful and way more professional. I'm going to start with this simple program in the cat, which will let me move it using the arrow keys, and the idea is that when I'm touching the lining, the health decreases. So to start, we're going to go to variables and make a variable called health. Having this, I'm going to make a parallel program that will be working simultaneously, checking if I'm touching the lightning and decreasing my health if I'm doing so. So let's go to event. When green flag clicked, forever. If touching lightning change health by negative one. And we're going to set health to 100 at the beginning of my game. So let's see what happens. Okay, it works, but it decreases too quickly. To fix that, I'm going to go to control, stop this, and let's add a weight block of 0 0.01 seconds. And now you will see the health decreases at a reasonable pace. When green flag clicked, we set it to 100 again. Okay, the basics of my game are ready, but now we want the health bar, something visual that shows me how much health I have left. And to do so, we need two more sprites. I'm gonna paint them. The first one will be a rectangle with no fill and a wider outline. Something like this is okay. Keep in mind to move it, you need to drag from the outline because this is empty. Let's center it. So that's gonna be the rectangle. And now we need a second sprite, which is gonna be a green bar. In this case, there's not going to be an outline, but there will be fill something green. Let's paint something like this. Let's check. Too high. That's okay. Maybe a little bit thinner. And let's center it. So this is the bar that is going to be painting my whole health bar. First of all, something important, let's go to rectangle, code, and this is going to have, when green flag clicked, go to front layer. That way, as you see, the green one is at the back. And now let's go to the green bar because the most important part of the code will be here. First of all, we're going to add the pen extension because we will need to use stamp. Keep in mind, Stamp does this. It stamps the shape of our sprite, in this case, a green line. When clicking on Erase All, this one is eliminated and I only have the sprite. How are we going to use this? First of all, I'm going to go to My Blocks and I'm going to make a block called Update Health. And this is going to be run without screen refresh. Do not forget to check this box. Update health is going to erase all at the beginning and bring this bar to this position. So X negative 118, Y 150. And now the question is, how many pixels do I have to move my bar to go to the end of my health box. I have to reach the position X16. So to go from negative 118 to 16, I need to repeat. Change X by 1 134 times. So we will stamp 
and move it. Let's see. When green flag clicked, update health. Perfect. That's done. Let's erase all. Let's click here again. Perfect. As you see, when I erase all, the sprite, the original sprite, is here, but we can hide it because we don't need to see it. That way, now it will be hidden. What's the problem of this? When I click on the green flag, if I touch this, the variable moves, but not the bar. So we cannot repeat this 134 times all the time because it has to be proportional to the health that we have. And what we're going to make is a formula with a multiplication and a division with the following data. We're going to multiply 134 by our health divided into the maximum health. The maximum health is 100. By the way, uh, I'm going to remove this block from here now and bring it here. So our maximum health is going to be 100. Let's put here 100. And this is going to be placed here. If my health is 100, 100 divided into 100 is 1 multiplied by this number is this number, 134. But for example, if I have 50 health points, 50 divided into 100 is 0 0.5. When this is multiplied by 0 0.5, the result will be 67. So this stamp and move right is going to be done 67 times. So it will only paint half of my whole health bar. But update health is something that needs to be done constantly. Maybe one option could be put a forever here, but I have a better solution, which will make your games work more smoothly. Let's go to the, um, to the sprite. And whenever we change health, let's go to events. We are going to broadcast a message called health or update health or whatever you want. And let's go back to the green uh, bar. And when I receive health, we are also going to update health. So let's see now. If I touch it, as you see, this health bar decreases. But what's wrong with it? That my health can go below zero and the game keeps working. One easy solution could be something like that. In the same program, define health, sorry, update health, you could put if, let's put it lower than, if health is lower than one, we can erase all and also stop all. And having this, you will see that. Now I cannot move my cat because the game has stopped. But that's that's something you need to decide depending on the game that you have. One more question. What happens if I have only five health points? Obviously, keep in mind, this number needs to be changed by five. If I touch this, the health decreases too fast, so it's impossible to play this type of game. Imagine you have some bullets that will touch your character and you want them to decrease this by one. But if the bullet is touching the character several times within a second, you might lose all your health. One option is this. Instead of waiting 0.01 seconds to decrease health by minus one, you can wait, for example, one second. In this way, when I'm touching this, the health decreases more slowly. And this is basically what I wanted to show you today. I made it the most simple way I could. So now it's your turn to use it in your games and tell me if it works in them. See you guys. Bye bye.